Leon Lush interviewed Parker from Luxury Pranks to find out exactly what happens in their videos. And Leon actually contacted me to be a part of his video as well. So, do luxury pranks stage their child predator social experiments? You be the judge. What is happening, people? This is Inform Overload. I'm Charlotte Dober, and thanks for coming back to check out another video. I just wanted to give a quick update on a story we did on the channel Luxury Pranks. So, in this video, I'm gonna tell you what happened when I chose to cover a story on their channel. I will say right off the bat that it is my opinion that the child predator social experiments on luxury pranks are staged. I have every right to express that opinion, even if people don't like it. But Leon Lush also shares the same opinion. If you don't know who Leon Lush is, he's honestly one of the best, most genuine YouTubers on this platform. Definitely subscribe if you haven't already. So Leon also made a video on luxury pranks, which is what initially inspired me to make our video. Of course, I had to go with a different angle and provide different information, so I found a source article written about luxury pranks that is, and was, posted in the description of our original video. It essentially provided the talking points that I used to make our video. When I read this article, I thought it was a really interesting story, and I'm somebody who really wants to seek out the truth. especially. When when it's about a topic as serious as child predators. The problem is when we posted this video, we were botted. As in someone paid for dislikes on the video. How do I know we were botted? Because when I got to work the day after we posted the video, the dislikes exceeded the likes. And then after I had a conversation with Parker where he threatened to sue us if we didn't change the title, the dislikes went down. So unless 300 people simultaneously decided that they were okay with my video, we got botted. I'm not sure who botted us, it could have been luxury pranks, it could have been one of their fans, don't know. Point is, we got botted, which is not allowed on YouTube. Even though I regretted it, I changed the title of our video because I genuinely felt bad for Parker. I mean, listen, I want to get to the truth, but Parker seemed like he was in a difficult position and it wasn't necessarily a big deal for me to change the title, so I did. And also, there were definitely a lot of real people who were upset about the video as well and at me, which sucks because, like, this is my job. If I find a story about a YouTube channel that's gonna be really controversial, I have to cover it. But I didn't expect to be attacked the way I was. So after this happened, I was feeling pretty disheartened, to be honest. So I went and checked out Leon's channel, and I noticed that he changed the title of his video about luxury pranks as well. So I reached out to Leon over Twitter DMs, and he actually responded, and then we had a conversation about it. I have to admit, after being attacked by so many people, it made me feel a lot better that Leon felt the same way about the story as I did. He told me that he'd also been botted and that the botting screwed up his analytics. Leon ended up having to private his video. But we decided to leave our conversation at that until a couple of days ago when Leon reached out to me and asked to be interviewed for a follow up video on luxury pranks. I was like, oh my god, dude, like my favorite YouTuber like wants to talk to me over the phone? Like, hell yeah, I'm gonna be in this video. If you guys haven't seen Leon's video, I will link it at the top of the screen right now. It's a really long video, it's an hour because it features both my interview and Leon's interview with Parker from Luxury Pranks. But the most important part of the video was when Leon Lush asked Parker if all the child predators in his videos were legit child predators. I will let you guys watch the response for yourself. All the child predators in your videos are legit child predators. It depends, I mean, dude, I mean, what, what, do, you classify as a, what do you classify as a child predator? I don't know. Parker, you're the expert here, man. Another major concern with IO's video on luxury pranks was my claim, and also the source article's claim, which was written by a completely different person, that luxury pranks doesn't call the police. Leon also asked Parker if they call the police after their child predator social experiments. And what Parker said was that he's not in a good position to say anything that's gonna hurt his company. He said, we gave the footage to the appropriate authorities. Leon asked Parker flat out if any of the child predators in the videos were arrested, and Parker said he had no information about whether or not they were arrested. He said he would quote, be compromising the trial, and that the integrity of justice must be conserved. It's the police's decision if they want to show it to the jury. During their conversation, Parker invited Leon to Buffalo to film behind the scenes. I am pretty interested to know if Leon Lush will go to Buffalo to do that. Then again, going out to film what's going on behind the scenes for one video does not mean that that's what's been happening this whole time on set. It is still my opinion that these social experiments are faked, and that's not going to change until I see some more evidence. Another interesting part of this whole thing is that Parker denied being associated with the channel To Catch a Cheater, a channel that has been exposed for also staging their videos. Luxury Pranks and To Catch a Cheater follow a similar format for their videos. but. To Catch a Cheater wrote this on Leon's video about luxury pranks. Good interview. You forgot to interview the mastermind of the entire operation. Hmm, interesting. So, so far the response to Leon's video has been pretty one-sided, and the side is, people believe Leon. Most people think that Parker from Luxury Pranks is hiding something. There was even a moment during Leon's video where it seemed that Parker was being fed answers. 
It is kind of refreshing to know that there are people who do feel the same way as Leon and I, but it does kind of bother me that both me and IO were harassed the way that we were. I'm not sure why Leon got such a positive response for his take on the story and why we didn't, but I guess it is what it is. Leon's just so friggin likeable! Look at his face! My hope is that this video and Leon's video will give you guys more of a clear perspective on the situation. And at the end of the day, we all want the same things. We all want to make sure everyone's safe, we all want to know the truth. It just so happens to be my job to find out the truth. So that is all I have for you on that, let me know your thoughts down below, but it's time to respond to some of your comments. Dark Wolf said, wait isn't Canada in the EU? No, <laughs> Canada is a British colony so I can see how you would have gotten that confused but we're not part of the EU. The Deshaun Allen said, Sean, I saw a rug at the store that looked like your shirt. Dude, can you like buy it for me? Because this shirt is soft. Skyfall the Great said, I love the way you talk. Mm -hmm. Thanks. Dr. Ankit said, damn, this woman is the only sensible American. I'm actually Canadian, but thanks. <laughs> Selena Kyle said, can I be a potato? Of course you can. All you gotta do is smash that subscribe and turn on those notifications. We've come to the end of the video. Thanks so much for spending a few of your valuable minutes with us. We really appreciate it. Hey, if you like this video, you will love the playlist that's floating on your screen right now. And why don't you turn on that bell so you can get regular news updates and so I can see you in the next IO video.